I'm going to just start calling Ravens out for what they are. World class trolls. We always say how timing is everything. We literally had just finished. Well, it was about 30 minutes ago. Uh, but we have finished recording a video talking about how we expect things to really start heating up this week uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, because after the Super Bowl, like you got coaches from teams that you want to talk to. And I wasn't 100 percent sure that they had anybody that they were interested in from Philly. But we certainly knew that um, there's been reports going around that they were interested in Chiefs uh, current offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy. So then this as the video is uploading, this news comes out. This report comes out from Mr. <laughs> Jeremy Fowler. And it reads. The Ravens are expected to talk with Eagles QB coach Brian Johnson and Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy after the Super Bowl about their offensive coordinator job per sources. I like that. I like it. I like it uh, for, for so many different reasons. Now, uh, we've talked about the reasons why we like Eric Bieniemy, but this, uh, them speaking with Eagles QB coach, I, I wonder if anybody's going to say, oh, he never called plays, so I don't want him. He's never had play calling responsibilities, so they can keep him. I wonder if we're going to hear any of that about Brian Johnson. Anyway, um, the reason I, I, I like this is because he's obviously a part of Jalen Hurts' development, and he's also a part of the Eagles' offense. So it's always nice when you see an offense that they just do so many different things well. And everything starts with the quarterback. Well, I mean, it really starts with the offensive line, too. But it starts with the quarterback. And the coach of that quarterback has a job uh, in specializing in development of that quarterback. Um, Jalen Hurts, as we all know, he was pretty much, I mean, pretty much written off. I mean, it's pretty close to being written off, right? So many people say, oh, he's sorry, he can't throw, he can't do this, he can't do that. I mean, it sounds similar to some other stories that we heard. But anyway, we, we heard so much stuff about Jalen Hurts, so much negative stuff about Jalen Hurts. They went and had that, that they made the playoffs now. They had a, a, a bad performance. It just, it was rough. It was rough to just even watch it, that playoff performance uh, against the Bucks. But the Eagles said, you know what? We got our own questions about Jalen Hurts. We got our own things that we wonder about Jalen Hurts, so... You know what, let's not give ourselves any excuses. So let, let's really build around this guy. Let's go all in around him, around with this team. Not, and they didn't just go all in on offense. They didn't just go all in on defense. They went all in on both sides of the ball. And they, they really maxed this rookie contract out. They took full advantage of it. But, again, another story for another day. But, anyway, that was all part of the development, especially on offense, obviously, because he's a quarterback. But the development of Jalen Hurts. And now they're in the Super Bowl. Now they have an opportunity in, I'm recording this at 11.01 a.m. They have an opportunity, what time does the game start? At 6.30, I think. So in about seven and a half hours, they have an opportunity uh, to get, like, to, to reap what they sold. To reap the benefits of everything that they did uh, this offseason. I mean, either, either way that it goes, if they win or lose, like, they made it. So this was a successful season. Obviously, somebody's got to lose. But um, this is a su successful season for them because they made it to the promised land. Now, are they going to get over that hump and be like, man. See, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay focused on, on, on Brian Johnson, but I, I just got reminded, like, Eagles were literally, like, five years ago, five years ago, they were in the Super Bowl, and they won. They won the Super Bowl. Um. And then that, that Super Bowl winning head coach ended up getting fired. And then now five years later, they're back in a Super Bowl, different coach, same GM, but different coach, and they're back in the Super Bowl. Like, really, man? Five, and five years later, they, they, five years ago, they won a the Super Bowl. And that, anyway. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I like that the fact that the, the, the Ravens are going to be talking to Brian Johnson because when you bring it in some, when you potentially bringing in somebody uh you want to know if their body of work is like that you want to know if where they were at before what was their level of success and obviously when you look at philly and what's happening with philly with their offense as a whole but specifically with jalen hurts you're like oh 
okay i see you so and, and what philly does they they do have their little rpos in there but jalen hurts they don't really be having him run like that they let their running backs do the work in a run game jalen hurts will take off a time from time to time now he will but their running backs they 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 use the running backs as running backs um their offensive line is nice their receivers obviously i mean we could go on and on about their receivers but they found ways to implement a dominant run game but also a dominant pass game too and the fact that they have their quarterback getting everybody involved they have their quarterback i mean we and weapons obviously matter like we keep on saying weapons matter because i i feel like you could have the best coaches in the world and yeah the x and the x's and o's are important but them jimmy the jimmy's and joe's they definitely important super important because you got to have the players that can make it happen too so it's a good combination of both but with these two i i am not mad at all um i i, I love both of these candidates for the baltimore ravens and like either one of these two i would have zero problem with zero problem with the ravens hiring either one now um <laughs> Will them hiring either one of these two uh, allow the Ravens to keep Lamar? I mean, it, it will certainly help, in my opinion, I think. I, I don't know how Lamar is feeling, but um, seeing what these offenses have done with a Patrick Mahomes and a, and a Jalen Hurts, and, again, and, and both offenses do the same thing, both of them. Both – oops, I'm over here getting so excited. I'm over here knocking the mic out. But both offenses, they always find ways to get different guys involved. And both offenses, they show trust, big trust in their quarterback. Big in, in crunch time and crucial decision making time. And when it's, when it's all on, they show trust in their quarterback and they do it consistently. They keep their quarterbacks out of harm's way. Of course, stuff still happens, as we know, but they keep their quarterbacks out of harm's way. They ain't running their quarterbacks into the ground. You know, Patrick Mahomes, he ain't no like he he ain't no runner like that. I know when that little that was the AFC Championship game a couple years ago, he had that 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 was probably the slowest, longest run by a quarterback ever. The one for a touchdown with all the Titans, they were like moving out the way. They were like, oh no, we ain't gonna touch Patrick Mahomes. But anyway, so yeah, man, I like it. So this this was good news. Uh, so I mean, like the previous video did say, things are certainly heating up for the Ravens, but now we see it in an even bigger way. We out.